the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, today we see Psalm 32, verse 11. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous. And shout for joy, all you upright in heart. I've seen many righteous people out there in the church, uh, in people who are really uh, prayerful, people who are uh, receiving the sacraments, uh, people who live a faith life. However, one thing uh, in some of you, at least I note, uh, I have observed is that uh, there is no rejoicing in the righteousness. All your deeds for the Lord, uh, all your prayers uh, you make and all your sacrifices you offer, there should be rejoicing. That's what the Word of God is teaching us, that rejoice in your righteousness. Uh, so all the faithful, uh, you be glad in the Lord as you pray. There should be a joy in your faith. There should be joy in your prayer. There should, there should be joy in your <coughs> righteous deeds. Life is tough, life is stressful, however, when you are with the Lord, you will experience that rejoicing and you will be glad in the Lord and shout for praise. May this word of God help you and shift your prayer life from stress to um, being uh, rejoicing in the Lord. May this word of God help you, the Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.